You see that thing? It's looked like that for the past like 50 days, <laughs> okay? I had to do something with it. The thing is, is I'm just super intimidated by it, right? I have no idea what I'm doing, but at this point, I just had to go for it. So that's what I did. But as soon as I got down, I realized I have a little bit of a problem. All of my stuff is up at the top of that mountain and I'm building down here. I, I'm gonna have to go up and down every time I wanna grab more supplies. And that wasn't gonna work, seriously. Going up and down this ladder was gonna drive me insane. Yeah, okay. I'm not doing this every time. This is, I, this is the first time I'm doing this. It's already annoying me. So I figured it would just be a better idea for me to just make a quick workshop slash storage area, bring all my stuff down. That way I have it all right here with me. So I picked a spot on the mountain and got to work right here. I went up for half a second to grab some supplies. By the time I got back down, already distracted. That pig's gonna jump. No! Seriously though, what is up with the animals in this game and just hanging over the edge, right? They're lucky I'm so caring and mostly easily distracted and willing to go get them. After I saved him, I figured he needed a name. Come on, Wilbur Wilberson. Well, it's so hard to say. Wilbur Wilberson. Wilbur Wilpertson. What? And since I got him out of that mess he got himself in, he will now be my best friend. Wilbur, don't push me. Wilbur? Wilbur? Wilberson. No. No, come here. Come here. Come here. What do pigs want? They, they like carrots, don't they? I have carrots. You can't stop being my friend that easily. Come here. I didn't want my new best friend, Wilbur Wilberson, to escape his prison. Uh, I mean, get lost again. So I helped him into his cage. Uh, home. His new home. Beautiful, nice, friendly home that I made for him. And that's pretty much all I could do. That, that is a home of kings right there. Okay, Wilbur Wilberson, I actually uh, need to get back to building because it, uh, I spent 10 minutes on that. After that, I went back down and actually started building. Shocker. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. At this point, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. And I had no idea what I wanted to build. So I just went for anything and just started digging a hole and hoped that something came to me. Oh, look at that. Not doing what I'm supposed to again. I don't know why. But when I went to cut some trees, I had this brilliant idea that I needed a shed for when I'm cutting trees. Don't, don't ask, okay? It doesn't make any sense. You know what? When I play this game, I just end up building a lot of random things that I'm like, oh, that could be nice. Or like, oh, that makes sense to do. And then I never use them. And then I just forget about them. And so it's just completely pointless. Okay, I, I get sidetracked so often it's actually crazy. In fact, this is a pretty good example of that. I'm kind of sidetracked as I'm saying this right now. Like I should be showing you how I built the workshop. Instead, it's like exactly right now how I'm sidetracked about being sidetracked. This isn't relevant at all. Like, uh, stop. Okay, In anyways, I got more wood, built an empty shed for the zombies to live in or something, and did eventually make my way back to keep working on my workshop. You know what? When I build stuff, it's all trial and error. I just move things around. But I'm going to be honest, I did struggle with the chest a little bit too much for it not to be just a little embarrassing. I completely forgot. None of these chests are gonna work. Okay, you know what? It's not a problem. That's fine. Wait, oh, it's the same problem. I'm so stupid. Eventually, I did settle on a design that I kinda like. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this is kinda cool. I still have no idea what I'm doing. So let me know what you guys think, but I don't think it's that bad. Also, I'm kind of proud of this. Look at this kitchen. I'm, that's kind of cool. I, I, it's kind of cool. Ah! No! Okay. What a rude interruption. Anyways, I made a few more adjustments to the kitchen and I, I'm happy with it. Boom, there's the kitchen. Finally, I moved everything that was on top of the mountain and brought it down to the chest. Said hi to Wilbur, of course. Okay. So at this point, I'm finally done with my workshop. I have everything you can need. You know, you name it, I got it. Storage, workstations, whatever. Where am I going? I need just the chest. <laughs> I should be able to start working on my safe house. With but no, here I am after I got a bunch of bamboo experimenting with it because I was just curious, what can you do with it? But then I found out that it can be used as fuel. But that's not the worst part, okay? I then also found out that kelp can be used as fuel. Dried kelp block. And what does a dried kelp block do? 
Oh, I can burn that. How well does that go? Oh, that's really good. Hasn't even moved yet. Oh, it's it's really, really good. Okay. <laughs> okay. No problem, right? Simple. No. I am not kidding that this discovery took me on a six-hour journey to places I never expected. I I'm not kidding. I go to the nether for the first time because I'm trying to get materials to make my kelp fuel more efficient. Remember when I talked about getting sidetracked? Yeah. This is a good example of that. I became obsessed with having an endless amount of the kelp as fuel. And you know what I think it is? It's because I hate mining coal with a passion. Mine out an entire side of the mountain of stone to build a workshop? Not a problem, okay? Mine a vein of 16 coal? I would rather die. So I spent... <laughs> At first, I was just gonna spend a little while and plant stacks and stacks of it. And that's exactly what I did. This would have been a good place to stop. Spend 10 minutes, harvest it all, get some bamboo, make some fuel, boom. I'm set, right? I got a ton of it. No, this is not how I do things. That would be too easy. And trust me, I have to make sure that I make things the absolute hardest way possible. I wanted an automatic kelp farm. I couldn't be bothered to mine it myself, even though later I do that anyways. I wanted it to be all automatic. I wanted it to do it for me. And and not even that, I didn't want it to just gather the kelp. I wanted it to cook it for me also. Like, I wanted to not have to do anything. Set it up, let it run. So in order to do this, I, I, I look it up and I find the first thing I'm gonna need is like glass. And I could get some from the bottom of the water right here, but that's too easy. So I figure, okay, I'll go on a mini adventure, find some sand, find some, find a lava pool. That way I can, you know, later work on my lava moat that's going to go around my house. I don't know. Don't ask, okay? I wanted a moat of lava around my house since I started this world. And I'm not really sure why, especially after it's done. You'll see. Uh, it's just a safety hazard for me. Anyways, that's later. So I, I set off to find the sand and lava. And I actually get really lucky and I find both right next to each other. So I'm able to get a whole bunch of lava and sand, which I use to make glass. I also got like a, a thousand wool for some reason. Finally, I labeled the chest. And let me tell you something, okay? When I was looking for diamonds, I really wasn't that lucky. In fact, I was pretty unlucky. And I only managed to find four of them. And for some reason, I felt the best use I could possibly have for one of them was to use it to label my chest. I'm gonna use a whole, <laughs> I only have four diamonds, but look how cool that looks. <laughs> So I'm gonna use it to represent that chest. So I, I, like I said, I looked up a tutorial for this kelp farm and I discovered that I needed quartz from the nether. A bit of a problem because I've never been to the nether so I can't just easily go and going to the nether would mean I need to stray even further from my goal of building my house. But you know what? I wanted that kelp farm so badly that I went off, used the rest of my diamonds to make a diamond pickaxe, if you don't get an achievement for it, by the way, which made me really sad. And I was gonna go make another portal. I picked a spot where I thought it was gonna be kind of cool. So I started mining it out, but you know what? I looked up and I kid you not, I noticed some netherrack coming out of the mountain. That netherrack? Why is there netherrack right there? And I thought that was so strange. So I built up to it and it was a whole nether portal room. <gasps> How insanely perfect was this? If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. So this is perfect, right? All I need to do now is get like two more obsidian and light it up. Let me tell you, I did not just get two more obsidian. I spent like an hour fixing up this room. So I thought it looked cooler. And by the time it was lit, you couldn't even see 90% of the work I did. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> it, it's not, it's too big, the portal. You can't even see that. That's the cool part. So that's great. <laughs> also, I can't stress enough. I could not have made this staircase any sketchier. This is the worst staircase ever made. <laughs> but there you go. That's the staircase to my nether portal. <gasps> okay. Not a great start. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Okay. Uh... You seen that? Is there supposed to be- Are they friendly? Are they supposed to be that many? Uh, what do I do? I'm scared to move. That- it seems a bit much to me. 
Oh, it's 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 the stuff I need. Are they gonna? Can I? You guys don't care? <laughs> oh. I, okay. What do I do? This is this is. Oh, I can't. No. No. Nope. 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 Well, I hate those things. <laughs> okay. Okay. It looks like it went away. Thank freaking goodness. I eventually got my quartz and a few other items. Put a little fence around my portal because I was freaked out that it was going to get blown up and I was going to get trapped there forever. And made my way back. I don't know what to do about this guy, because he's not attacking anyone, but he's kind of being annoying. Mm -hmm. Oh, well that works. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Well, that solved itself, didn't it? Okay, let's keep going. So I watched the tutorial. I made the kelp farm, no problem. Works great, right? It's a little bit small, but it's, it's really not a problem. But then it was time to build the bamboo farm because I wanted to hook it up so it cooked the kelp, right? Easy. Let me tell you, okay? I did not look up a tutorial for this one because I assumed it would be exactly the same. And for some reason I built one automatic farm and I feel like I'm an expert. Ooh, I am not an expert. I failed to making this farm right away. <laughs> and for some reason I got super intent on the idea that I had to only use hoppers for the collection system and I would need like 20 of them so I went and gathered a ton more iron and I, actually I got really lucky doing this because I was able to find like three and a half stacks relatively quickly. I built this farm like three times before I finally got it to work. And even then, it's not nearly efficient enough to even cook the kelp. So I extended it and it was still not efficient enough. So I extended it again. And by the time I extended it again, I was completely out of redstone. Go to the mountain, get almost four stacks of iron, no problem. Go to the nether, get a ton of materials, no problem. Go back down to my mine to look for three more redstone, outrageous. Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, I, I called it good. At this point, it kind of sort of worked. I really think automatic farms, are, automatic farms are really cool. And if I were to do this again, I looked it up since I played. <laughs> And I for sure would be able to do it better. There's quite a few mistakes I made, but honestly, it's part of it and it's fine. It's just one of those things where I spent like six hours doing this and it just, it really didn't pay off like I was hoping it would. So I end up just doing what I probably should have done from the beginning. Remember all that kelp I planted earlier? Yeah, I finally harvest that and just manually turn it into fuel. It, it took like no time at all and I got like 90 times the amount. I'll probably ever get from this farm. <laughs> it's okay. But finally, now that my kelp farm obsession had passed, I was able to focus on building my house. Remember that thing? Yeah, I'm supposed to be building that. Yeah, remember that? Finally, I'm gonna work on it, okay? And this actually went really well. I'm telling you, I spent a while on this lava moat because I became obsessed with it the second I opened this world. It's completely pointless. All this lava moat does is create an insane safety hazard for me. Seriously, because I added the slabs over it, I could no longer see the lava. I almost jumped straight into this lava like every three minutes because I forget about it. Oh, it's so good I have a fence there. Gotta stop. This lava is gonna kill me one day. So the way I built this house was really similar to how I built the workshop. I just placed blocks until I was happy with it. Kinda took longer than it probably should have, but eventually this is what I ended up with. And there it is. There's my safe house. This lava moat, one, took forever. Two, completely pointless. Three, it's gonna kill me. For sure it's gonna kill me. Here it is. Go in. Look at this fireplace. Kidding me? I'm actually really proud of this fireplace. <laughs> cool. Look, you got a little kitchen. A window. So I can make sure that no zombies are going into my workshop. The pathetic kelp farm. We'll ignore that for now. Here's the bedroom. Wow. Right? Seriously? I I, I could have made it a little bit bigger. But no. I just made it 
as big as it needed to be, right? And here's my loft. I have no idea what I'm going to put up here, but it's extra space, so there you go. And yeah, that's really the best part, I think. The rest, uh, you know, that's kind of cool. It's a cool house. But yeah, there it is. This. Are you kidding me? Where are they? Are you kidding me? You think that's a good spot to hang out? Stop going further. There's a cow. There's two pigs. There you go. Be free. Don't do that again. There you go. No, you, come on. Stop staring at the wall. Look. I'm going to push you off if you don't hurry up and get out. I will push you off. That's what I thought. <sighs> do you feel dumb? You should. Come on. Oh, come on. You can do it. There was one more. <gasps> okay. The other one's gone. Is it? No, the other one's... Oh. There's a clear path. Are you coming? Come on. <gasps> Got eager and almost jumped off. There you go. Think about your... Think about what you're doing next time. I'm gonna jump. Did I get them all? Oh man, I'm such a good person. Well, there it is. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any suggestions, everything helps at this point. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.